Haven't you heard of uh, First Nolly TV? Home of Nollywood movies. Mm -hmm. Subscribe now. First Nolly TV. Don't talk that. Welcome, sir. Good day, Chiamaka. Thank you. How are you? Fine, sir. Good day, sir. Good day. How are you doing? So, How is my son? Um, he's fine. He's upstairs. Oh, great. I guess this should be the house you have to do. Yes, he is. Good day, ma. Chiamaka. Meet Joy, my colleague. Joy. Chiamaka, the new house help. Chiamaka, how are you doing? I'm fine, ma. Thank you. She's really hard working, like you said. Yes, she is. I'm very smart. Mm -hmm. Let me leave you to finish your chores. Okay, sir. Thank Shall we? You. All right, then. Welcome, ma. All right. Where are you both coming from this early in the morning? Um, good morning, sir. Today is Sunday, so we went to church. Oh, good morning. Wait, you woke up very early to go for morning mass. Yes, sir. It's necessary. I hope you prayed for me. <laughs> How are you? Okay. Hope you had fun at church. Yes. You stayed quiet. Yes. I trust you and I trust Auntie Jamaica. Auntie Mako woke me up like a baby today. Ah, people, Uncle, what are you? Of course, you're a big man. A big man, of course. Uh -huh. Stop feeling like a baby. Oh, okay, okay yes, sir. Don't worry, very mm. soon you grow up and she'll stop treating you like a baby, okay? Okay. Good. So, what's for breakfast? Um, I'm sorry, sir, your breakfast is late today, but let me go in now. Prepare. It's okay. Because... Don't worry, very soon you will grow! Hi. Hello, good evening. Sir. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Please, I I need a phone. Okay. A moderate phone of uh, I don't know, but for a girl of about 21, 22. Okay, how's the budget, sir? I honestly don't have a budget because I don't have an idea how much phone is sold. But if you can do me through what you have, I could make a choice. Okay, we have around 50 to 60,000. Can I have a look? Yeah, you can. Where? Yeah. Okay. Fast, you know you have to go to work early. Yeah, that's a thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, I got you a better phone. 
I know sometimes you might need to show me something and you wouldn't know how to. So I got you an Android phone so you can at least take pictures and forward to me. For me? Of course. Go ahead, you deserve it. Hey. Thank you so much. No, 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 get up. <laughs> it's nothing. You're a very hardworking person. I saw you the other day talking to my friend Emeka. I am so sorry. I, I was going on my own and then... <laughs> no, no, you don't have to explain anything to me. I understand very well. I know Emeka. And I am so happy you turned him down. Not every girl will do that. It speaks a lot. It speaks to your home training and the virtues you have. Which I'm happy you are passing on to my son. You have all the unique qualities of a mother and I hope someday you'll find a man who will cherish you and give you the life you deserve. Which brings me to this question. Thank you for the compliments. Sir. You're welcome. Come, come. Do you have a boyfriend? Eh? Hey! Boyfriend, God forbid. Woman has ever touched me on. So you mean you're a virgin? It's okay, you can go. I didn't mean to embarrass you. Well, work is fine. Just a normal stress of work. But we thank God. Uh, you don't expect it to be easy. You see, you're talking about stress now. You've forgotten so soon. Back in the days, how you soak Gary, and now you're talking about stress. <laughs> and now you were praying for a day like this. Honestly, that is true, bro. Let's not even go there. I always remember how far God has brought me. Mm. Now I'm living the life of my dreams. Yes, yes. Everything is really moving fine. I thank God for that. <laughs> Let's not forget, how far that girl, I mean, that your housekeeper. Uh -huh, what about her? You see, you're complaining that you're not married. You have such a pretty girl and you're not yet married. Wait, you want her to slip off your finger? Is that what you want? Something is definitely wrong with you. Let's go where we're going. We're running late. Uh, uh, but, but in case you, you, you are not interested, I want to tell you that I'm interested. Azubike. that girl i mean that's your housekeeper uh -huh, what about her Hi. Uh, you see you're complaining that you're not married you have such a pretty girl and you're not yet married wait you want her to slip off your finger is that what you want now you've seen why you need to get married <laughs> anytime soon i know but i'm not rushing it honestly i do not want to do something i'll regret later let me just take my time and find the right person Bessie. There's no good one, good woman anywhere. Okay, you just have to just pick one and mold her to your taste. That's all. I cannot deceive you. I know that. Auntie, I hope you got the alerts for the money I sent you. Yes, of course. 
hey, I, I call to say thank you. How are you in the city? Oh, I can hear the roll, Lisa. Thank God. Hey, the other reason I'm calling you, there's something I just remembered now and it has been giving me concern. So I just remember it. I said, let me call you. Eh? So that I will know your whereabouts. Eh? It's about what we discussed the last time. Eh? Eh, about you settling down. <sighs> yes, I know. I I have that in mind. I'll do something about it soon. Mba no. Mm -mm. Eh? It's not about you. Eh? It's, it's not just getting a woman to take care of Tsukweboka. Mm -mm. Hey, you need a woman that will take care of your home now that you have a son. Yes. Auntie, I have a nanny that takes care of my home and my son. And she's doing a great job, okay? Mba. Mba. You don't just need a woman. You need a wife. Not a nanny or housekeeper. The sooner, the better. It's all right, I've heard you. I'll do as you have said. Eh. Ungwana. Oh, please try. Eh, Ukoma. Eh? Menuko be Jonu Moyena. So that I will be happy. Yes. In no time, waste for no good. Yes. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm in the kitchen making your favorite. It's so fortunate you are not here to eat. Don't worry, I will send it to the phone. Uh, my regards to everyone. Uh, especially Bukao. And don't forget to bring him back home this coming uh, holiday. Uh, Chid here is missing him. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, take care of yourself. Huh? Good night. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mwa. <laughs> hey. Mwa, keep here. I hope you two gang members are not planning to feed me fat in this house. <laughs> no, sir, we are not. Daddy, I wish I could still be my mother. She's so nice to me. Hey, <laughs> thank you, Auntie Chief, for being really nice to me. Yeah, I know we're supposed to get to the car and go to the 
it? You see this plant? Yes. You see how it blooms? Yes. That's how my life has blossomed and bloomed since you stepped your foot into this house. I don't know how you did it. I don't know the magic you have, but you have totally transformed my life. You have brought me from a place of darkness to some, some light. You have filled this house with happiness. Ibuka hardly even realizes his mom is late. I do not know how you do it, but I just want to say thank you and ask you for one favor. Jesus. Chamaka. You man. No. Please don't do it. Wow. Is the love I never felt this way? Is the love I never felt this way? <laughs> yes. Everything about you make me joy. Keep going. You make me do again. Oh. Let me focus, focus, look ahead now. Just use your senses to control. This pathetic situation, Miss Mrs. Eze, Mrs. Eze. I wish I, could, I would have said that. Congratulations. It's so sad. We have this mishap. However, I want you to understand one thing. God knows the best. Nobody anticipated this. I knew how much he loved you. And I want you to take that to heart and always realize that wherever he is, he's having your heart. Israel, your dad might be calm, but he has laid the foundation for 
you. And I'm here to make sure your dad might become for he has laid the foundation for you. And I'm here to make it work. Okay? Smile for me. That's right. Um, uh, Mrs. Bridget. You should be their consolation at this point. It's a critical point. I don't want to see tears. It doesn't make sense. Give them a lamp of hope. Israel, well, uh, I want to assure you guys that I'll make sure, like what I've discussed with him as his personal attorney, his lawyer, that your life will never be miserable, that everything will be put in place, financially and otherwise. How are you, Cletus? Fine. It's been a while. Yes, sir. Oh, is your mother in? Yes, sir. And my little boy? Yes, sir. Okay, please, uh, can you just help me? Tell her I'm around. Okay, sir. I'm coming, sir. everything on my care despite the fact that you were not legally married even when he never had carnal knowledge of me oh now I have realized how much he loves me because of this sacrifice I will remain forever single as a way to keep the memory of his love alive even though he's gone, he lives forever in my heart. I will stay for him and help his son grow. I will make sure I make him proud by making sure I show him the love of his parents he lost and grow him to a great man just like his father. My love, I promise to keep the fire of your love burning in my heart forever. I promise to keep mine too. Thank you. I will give you the best out of the world. I will make you happy. I promise. Thank you. Take some sleep. Nobody knows that we're going to start. Nobody knows that we're going to start. 
brackets. So if you have brackets minus which one do you use? If you have commas and then you have bracket half plus, you have division, you have multiplication. Which one do you want to use? That is the right word, master. Then you can do this. Don't go to the Nine, I brought her back because I can't continue with this marriage. She behaves like a prostitute. I cannot continue with this marriage. Nine, I will come back later to collect the bride price according to tradition. I'm done with her. Did you heard what he said? Look at how you missed yourself up and you, you, you just dragged the family reputation into mud. Is that how I brought you up? Is that what I taught you to do? Juliet, you have actually killed me in this village. Juliet, you have finally killed me in this village. Hello, my friends. How are you? I miss you more. So how is study in the UK? Oh, you found it up. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> so when are you coming home? Really? Oh, my son. <laughs> Thanks for making me proud. And I can't wait to have you home. <laughs> here it is, same here it is. Yeah, bye. What are you going to do? You go home. That is why I am here in the city. I mean, I want to look for a shelter to lay my head and think about my life. That is why I'm here. What about the baby? Uh, what are you going to do about the child you're carrying? You told me you're pregnant. I have I've aborted the baby. Yes, you can't expect me to be passing this frustration and still carrying a child. Oh, no. Eh? Too bad, my friend. Too bad. I blame you in all this. See, if you wanted to do that, you should have is lodged in the hotel, not in your matrimonial bed. Babe, you went too far. Your matrimonial bed. Oh, Bonnie, please. Please. Don't remind me of my past. Don't. The deed has been done. You can't blame me. At least blame him for not being a man instead. I mean, do I look like a log of wool? My friend, you have no justification here. Yes, you have no justification here. Like you said, it's past now, so let's just move on. As for your request, you're more than a friend to me. Oh yes, you're like a sister to me. My apartment is yours and you're always welcome. Really? Except you're ready to go back to our normal business we used to, you know now. Uh, uh, what I uh, uh, before uncle, <laughs> not your <be our> business. <laughs> before this man came and caged me with nonsense marriage. <laughs> yeah, well, you know now. now for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You are a friend indeed. Oh, uh, I'm blushing already. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't wait for us to hit you the road. Know, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs>
Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, my love. I didn't cook anything, you know, nothing the inside. My though. sister, I am happy like this. It's been a long time I laughed like this. And you know I'm here to always make you laugh. I know. <laughs> That's my girl. Oh, I've missed oh, you, darling. Okay, let's just go inside eh? then. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay, don't worry. Let me help you carry your bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, you know I have a good maintenance culture. I bet, I can tell. <laughs> anyway, there will be lots of time for that. What you need now is to shower and come down for your meal. Oh yes, I'm really famished. <laughs> and I made your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so good to have you home. Come, go, 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 go. For your meal. I know. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Mom, this was so. <laughs> this is so good. I mean, I enjoyed every bit of this. Oh, come this on. brings back a lot of perfume memories. You know? <laughs> I have been craving for your food. It's been a long time I had something this good, you know. I mean, I set for it in the UK, but it was all not as good as this, you know. Mom? Mom, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Are you sure? Mm, yeah, I'm fine. It's just that you remind me so much of your father. Are you? Yeah, I mean, it slowly will flatter me. The way you love my food. Wow, oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad at least um, I know you miss him so much. That he's getting to be with me. Will comfort you. You just like my biological mother.
Good day, Mom. Good day, how are you? I'm good. Where are you off to, Mom? <laughs> I'm actually headed to the spa. To the spa? Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I join you? I'll be bored at home without you, Mom. I mean, after then, we can just look for a place to sit out and have fun, at least celebrate my return. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, that would be a nice idea. Okay, yeah. I love it. Let's go. I wanted to go to the spa. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Am I okay like this? Yes, you are. Sure? No, yes, you are. <laughs> oh. Wow, I mean, everywhere is just so green. And yeah. Beautiful. Back then, okay, I just kept on the crazy <laughs> oh, I know. I had a lot of junk. Really? Yeah. Uh, Ever since I got back, I've been. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm here to take care of. You are the best. <laughs> you are the best son. <laughs> well, I, I hope you like it. My love, I wonder if it's a curse that your son is back. Is it not meant to be my greatest consolation? Yet each time I set my eyes on him, our memories flashes like the lightning, reminding me of memories that make my eyes flood with tears. I fear how long I will manage this anguish. What music are you playing that is making you dance this way? Say what? What's in say what? <laughs> Let's see what you are enjoying now. Okay. <laughs> Virgin me because of your principle of making love to me only after our wedding day. Same way I will not let any man defy me or get married. All I will do is to leave and see him grow to make you proud. Till we meet again, my love. It's been long, I never feel this kind of joy 
You keep my worries away Make me feel love the game oh, Coming to my life is a miracle What a beautiful soul Ooh, Everything about you give me joy You make me new again Oh, Love is a beautiful thing oh. Honestly, I think I'm going insane with him. He's another emotional blow on me. I think I'll relocate to another apartment. I understand how you feel, your friend. But you can't run away from your shadow. Please, you adopted someone. I will know that. Keep your fat big. Get over your lust. Or are you indirectly falling in love with your What is that supposed to mean? Are you okay? Is everything a joke to you? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry for yourself. Nonsense. <laughs> no mind her. She knows what she's doing. No mind her. She's in love. Ah, <gasps> okay, that's him. Mom. This is Cindy. Oh, Cindy. Good day, Mom. Good day. So, who is Cindy to you? She's a beautiful lady I've been telling you about, my fiancé. And I cherish her so much, Mom. Oh. You're welcome, Cindy. Thank you, Mom. Nice to meet you. Cindy. Please make her comfortable. I'm okay, Mom. Thank you very much. Um, I have something to do upstairs. Enjoy yourself. Hey. Your mom doesn't look happy for me. Um, don't worry about her, okay? That's by the way. So, what can I offer you? Anything. Okay, I'll get you a drink. Something soft, yeah? Alright, fine. Okay. I don't even know where he gets all these shenanigans from. What nonsense. No, honestly, you need to see. I'll call you back. Not again, man. What is going on? You can't marry that girl. Why? She's pretending. Can't you see? She's pretending to be a good girl so you marry her. Did you not see her? Her cheap colored dress. The overly bogus hair. The fake lashes. She's just a wannabe. So the way she was even all over you, cuddling you and holding you in front of your mom. Who does that? She is a prostitute. Can't you tell? Come on, son. I'm your mother. I want to protect you as my son. Just the way your father would. That girl is not the one for you. I don't want all this gold diggers to come and spoil the peaceful family we built for years. But mom, you don't know her well enough to judge her. I don't need to know her. Come on, mom. Chuprebuka, I am a woman. I know women more than you. That girl is a no for me. Oh. Anna? Swella, don't worry. I will be home soon. Uh, there's nothing. Don't mind this, my big head friend here, Ibuka. Insisted we sit out for a bottle or two. I have no choice then. I promise. Oh, okay. Um, on my way back, I will brown the mall and get you your body cream. Yes. Okay. Love you. I will tell him. Yes, um, my wife sends her a girl. Wow, I mean, 
That is very thoughtful of her. It's been a while I saw her. How is she? Yeah, she is fine, but um, talking about thoughtful, she has been on my neck. Um, yes, to get you to settle down also. She does not think it's good for a guy like you, handsome, rich, well to do, right for marriage, yet still single. Well, you don't really have to scold me. I don't want any pressure right now because it's not my fault. What am I supposed to do? All the beautiful girls I presented to my mother, she rejected them. What am I supposed to do then? That, that's one thing I tried to wrap my head around. Like, what is the problem with them? What's... She always find one fault in every one of them. She said Cindy is too short and ugly. Well, she said Natasha is not from our religious background. I mean, what does she expect me to do? Seriously, this is getting out of hands. You have to grab the bull by the horn and damn your mother. You're not getting any younger. Remember, you are the only child, the only son. My, my wife is waiting for me, huh? I'm not Okokuro like you, hmm? So what now, you leaving? Yes, I'm leaving. I'm your mother. Um... Beg me, you're my best friend. The only one I can confide in at this challenging period. That is why I set up this meeting between the two of us and avoided at the uncle because I need you now. Ever since my son... Your adopted son. Whatever. Now, this is my problem. I have been avoiding him from settling down and getting a wife. Bringing up excuses just to discharge his fiancés. It's not as if they are not good for him. I get so jealous whenever they get close to him. It's like every breath close to him is getting closer to my husband. I don't know why they have so much in common. Everything about them seems the same. Even their kids' smiles and mannerism. so confused and the worst is that he's on my neck to make a choice for him I don't know what to do I am so confused I don't know what to do Becky would you want another woman to marry your own? He's not your own. Well, my advice to you is to let him marry whoever he wants to marry. So you can free yourself from this emotional torment. Secondly, you need to quit this principle of remaining single just to respect your late husband. Look! You need your partner in your life. Just let this man be. Enough, dear friend. Hey, Busco, my man. 
Mm. <laughs> a busco to the world. I can't do it. Stop hailing or flat from me. You're 15 minutes late. Okay, um, bro, chill. You should realize that this is Nigeria, not abroad. You see here, we keep African time late as usual. Oh. African man time, that phrase. You know, I expect uh, enlightened and educated men like yourself. To change that ugly and ridiculous narrative. I am sorry, Mr. Punctuality. Huh? Can I can I sit yes. down? Thank you. How are you doing, bro? Well, I'm good. And who is this gorgeous lady you came in here with? Yes, um her name is Juliet. My my wife's childhood friend. Mm. Yes, she she called me that she was bored and needed an outing. I said, fine, what a perfect opportunity since you and I already fixed the young at. So I said, fine, she can come along. So. Oh, oh wow. Very nice. Yes. Mm. Good day, sir. Good day. Good day. My pleasure. Oh. Likewise. Yeah. I, oh. I like your tattoo though. Oh, thank you. Why did you do that? <laughs> like maybe somewhere. Okay, fine. <laughs> Where? Before, before you guys go with your love, let me do an introduction. Yes, um, Juliet meets my very good friend, a brother from another mother, Ebuka. Ebuka meets Juliet. It's a pleasure once again yeah. to meet you. Same here. It's Tony you are, I must say. Thank you. Oh, well, uh, forgive my manners. What can I order for you? Um, nothing. Just water. Are you sure? Yeah. Ah, that's true. We share the same brand. Mm -hmm. Waitress! Waitress! Thank you. Get me one water and Jameson Black. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, um, before she comes back, let me take a leak. Use the toilet, huh? On the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. So, tell me about yourself. There must be something really beautiful mm -hmm. about you. Nothing. That's a normal person. Juliet. Juliet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it not a normal thing? She didn't get the glasses and the water. Okay. So, tell me about yourself. Nothing much about me. There must be something really beautiful mm -hmm. about you. Nothing. That's a normal person. Juliet. Juliet? Mm -hmm. Where are you from, Juliet? Okay. Hmm. Yes. It's really good to see you today. Thank you so much. Well, I just hope you have a good time. And I'd say I like something. Feels like you have to grab the bull by the horn and damn your mother. You're not getting any younger. Remember, you are the only child, the only son. Just relaxing outside. Oh, lunch is ready. Well, thank you very much, Mom. But you really need to stop stressing yourself because of me. Well, a few hours ago you took care of my laundry, and now lunch is ready. 
Look, mom, I am no longer the little boy back then, okay? I am a man now. And, mom, you are no longer my nanny. You are my mother now. That is more reason why I am not complaining. It is a mother's duty to take care of her son. Well, mom, I know how much you care for me, but I mean, my friends are making a joke out of it. They think I'm irresponsible because I'm still living with my mom and I'm not settled yet. Eh? Don't mind them all. Ha! Don't mind them, my son. They're trying to push you into fire. And when it starts burning, none of them will be here to help you. Don't worry. I'm searching for a good girl for Well, me. enough of your endless search, mom. Please, I don't want your weird behavior the next time I bring a lady to present to you, okay? Thank you. Are you sure one of those girls have not casted a spell on my son? That is now behaving abnormal. Ah! Son? Son? Haven't you heard of uh, First Nolly TV? Home of Nollywood movies. Subscribe now. First Nolly TV. Go and talk to